Hi, I'm Jenny Gaston. I have Woolen Willow Designs and I'm also the creative director for Primitive Quilts and Projects magazine. I just wanted to share with you today a very simple method to transfer a pattern onto dark fabric. I get this question a lot. Um, it's easy to do light fabric. You can use a light desk and trace, but darker fabric is a little bit more difficult. And there are a lot of products out there, but this is something that I think you could do today. You, you probably have the materials. So um, I'm just gonna tilt the camera down and show you what I do. you can see that. All right, so the first thing you need is your paper pattern that you want to use for embroidery. Um, I'm in the middle of uh, working on a project for a Facebook group so along. It's called uh, Christmas Carol's Mystery Quilt, and my turn isn't until June, so I don't want to show you what I'm doing, so I just did a little alphabet here. And then you need some nylon tool, like what you make bridal veils out of. And you just tape that, well not tape it, you just pin it onto your paper. I had another one uh, ready to go, but I melted it with the iron. I had the iron too hot. I wanted to make the tool nice and flat, and that reminded me of a story of when I was a kid. The popular show that my parents seemed to watch a lot was Mary Tyler Moore. And Mary's friend Rhoda, who had curly hair, came running into Mary's apartment and and her hair was straight all of a sudden. And Mary said, well, Rhoda, how did you do that with your hair? And Rhoda said, oh, I had it ironed. So I thought that would be kind of a neat idea to take my skipper doll who had curly hair and take her to my mother's sewing room and iron her hair straight. But all I did was ruin my mother's iron. So I'm obviously not much better with an iron. So anyways, so <laughs> here you go. So you've got your nylon tool pin to your paper pattern of your words or whatever it is that you're wanting to transfer onto your dark fabric. Uh, this will work on wool as well. And you just take a Sharpie marker and trace and it just ends up on the tool, the nylon tool. So that is all you do. You get it right, all those letters traced. And then unpin take away the pattern and bring out your dark fabric and pin it you can see it right even though I used a, a black sharpie I can still see it on top of that fabric because the nylon tool is light and pin that in place and then you'll take your marking tools and um, there, there are many things out there. Um, I happen to just use quilting pencils. Um, I think they're chalk. This is a Roxanne Quilter's Choice. I've got one here, it's really waxy. It's called the Ultimate Marking Pencil from the Full Line Stencil Company. And this is, uh, I don't know what company this is, but it says it's a multi pastel chalk. And then I also have these chalk wheels that work. So you just take your marking tool and it just bleeds right through the nylon tool onto your backing fabric. Um, I don't know if the blue, the blue, the blue might show up too. Let's see. Blue and the wax goes right through and of course well you know I know the chalk will too it'll go through okay so that is how you do that ta-da and let's see we can do it on top of wool you can still see it just put a few pins in <clears throat> same thing well, I think. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that'll show up. Okay, so you just let it right, right onto your wool. And then this stuff will go away eventually. Uh, some of them are heat. You just have to read the package directions. They're all a little different. And let's see, blue. That might show up, but it works the same as the other chalk pencils. You just have to see what's going to show up. Here's a chalk wheel. 
this will brush off really easy though, so it might not be the best choice. So anyways, there you have it. And then you can just embroider right all it right over those. And that's how you do it. There's my quick and easy method. I hope you all have a great day and have fun with your embroidery on wool or whatever you happen to be embroidering on. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.